Hi, I'm Stephanie Wolf, PA and CEO of the Nova Center. And I'm David, the Center Director for the Nova Center. And today we're gonna to discuss a treatment that's even more effective than the stem cell pea shot. Pea shot, as maybe you have seen from our previous videos, or maybe not, is using your platelet-rich plasma. So this is actually coming from your blood. We get that question all the time. Yes, it's your blood. So we are drawing your blood, we're spinning it in a centrifuge, and it's separating your red blood cells from your platelet-rich plasma. And platelet-rich plasma is that yellow gold that I always like to tell patients. You kind of want it to look like apple juice, little thick, little cloudy, that's ideal and perfect. So what is inside this yellow gold? It's going to have your growth factors, your stem cells, and your cytokines. These are all healing properties. They're actually going to regenerate your tissue and create something that's called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the formation of new blood vessels. So PRP is great, especially if you're doing it in a pea shot because you know that's what you guys are looking for. You're looking to regenerate that tissue, especially if you have any kind of scar tissue. Our Peyronie's guys, you know, it's going to go in and remodel and break down that scar tissue and rebuild new tissue, and then of course bring new blood vessels in. So just kind of enhancing your results. What is a stem cell pea shot? Well, believe it or not, here at Novus, we've been administering stem cell pea shots for the last four years. And, you know, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of information, stem cells can come from all sorts of areas. So specifically your bone marrow stem cells. So I'll have patients who come in here that, you know, maybe they had their stem cells implanted into their knee or their ankle, their shoulder and they do get benefit from that. There's also adipose stem cells, and this is usually used for aesthetic. So whether that's for facial rejuvenation or hair regrowth, I've even had some patients who have their adipose stem cells used like if they're undergoing plastic surgery just to kind of help heal and repair. But then there's the umbilical cord stem cell or what we like to call the Wharton's jelly. And that's what we were using here in the office up until a couple years ago. And really, if you kind of think about stem cells, stem cells, you know, they're kind of this powerhouse. They contain both DNA and messenger RNA. So what they're doing is they're sending these little messengers out to the body saying, hey, you're damaged. We need to go in and regenerate you. So, you know, the best way that we always kind of thought about it was these zombie cells, okay? You see these zombie cells running around. They don't really know what to do. They're inflamed, they're damaged, and these stem cells go in and they repair them. So when we added the stem cell to the actual pea shot, we were noticing, you know, these results that were just kind of amplified. So not only was it just regular tissue and regular blood vessel formation, but it was quick. They were starting to see this regeneration within four weeks. So it was great. You know, that's what we were doing here in the clinic. But here we are talking about the exosome pea shot. And I'm gonna stop hogging the video and let David have a little say. <laughs> so the exosome pea shot. Well, let me actually start off by exosome, talking about exosomes. A lot of people have never heard that word before. What exosomes are, are the exact things that stem cells create to do their job. So stem cells in a way become the middleman, whereas the exosomes are actually the end goal that are the therapeutic things that help do everything that Stephanie was just talking about. So a few years ago at the anti-aging conference that we attend every year, we learned about exosomes. And compared to what we were doing with stem cells, when you look at the sheer volume of stem cells that we were injecting and getting these great results and the exosomes that those stem cells were then creating in your body to get the results for the guys. We basically learned that you can sort of circumvent that process and get rid of the middleman, get rid of the stem cells and get a concentrated serum of 35 times stronger uh, of a source of exosomes and that's what we've been using ever since. And it was kind of a no brainer. We just switched over to something that's this much better and the results that we've been seeing with guys are off the charts. One of the most important things you have to understand anytime you're doing with anything with stem cells 
is the source of those stem cells is vital with the desired outcomes being better and more improved. Just as an example, you can take stem cells from a 90-year-old man on his deathbed and use those therapeutically in someone's body. You're not gonna see the results that you're looking for. Your body's probably not gonna even use them at all because the stem cells that are already in that person are better. In which case, you can go the other extreme and exactly what Stephanie was talking about, you can get stem cells from the beginning part of life you know, the umbilical tissue, the placental stem cells, where everything's brand new and shiny and everything's working great. So understanding that is where we actually source our exosomes from, our stem cells that then create the exosomes are from placental stem cells. When it comes to the results that we see, it's not just a subjective, someone says, hey, things are good. We actually quantify the results that we get. We do an in-office self-analysis called a SHIM score that gives us a numerical representation of the quality of erections. We do a comparison before and a comparison after. And the results that we've seen to quantify objectively the results that we've seen with the stem cell exosome P-shots has been quite remarkable. So I know what you guys are asking, you know, how come my doctor doesn't bring this up or how come they haven't mentioned it? And I just wanna let you know that more research needs to be done before it becomes standard of care in these doctor's offices. So if your doctor hasn't heard about this, don't blame him. He just doesn't know about it yet, but eventually he will. And that's why we're giving you the information today. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about exosomes, please feel free to visit our website. We've posted several other videos on our YouTube account, and hopefully we can answer all your questions. I've also placed a link in the description below, so feel free to click on that. If you'd like to see the published clinical research, please look below in the description for the links.